Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So we've got the Knight of Potions, which is the Knight of Cups, and we've got the, uh, the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. The Two of Cups and the Two of Swords. No, excuse me. This is the Nine of Cups. I thought that was a one. The Nine of Cups and the Two of Swords. So, Scorpio. I feel like either you were putting a lot of love into something and investing, maybe even financially or being very giving to something. Yeah, I feel like you're really working on something here. And we're talking like empress mode. You know what I'm saying? Like really building a life with somebody, blood, sweat, and tears. You know what I'm saying? Really working hard on something. And boom, two of swords and the nine of cups. You know, the problem here is, is that you get nothing that you want. You're really killing yourself over someone here. Now, guys, this can be vice versa, Scorpio. It could be that someone here is killing themselves over you when you're giving this person nothing. But I feel like someone here is fighting, you know, giving love, money, you know, fighting to start a life with somebody. Someone's really, really, really like giving this their all. But when it comes down to the other person's wish fulfillment, they're not getting anything. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of fighting about money in this connection. We've got the Five of Swords. We've got the Seven of Swords. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fighting over money here. There may be jealousy over money or competition over money. Who makes more money? Or, you know what, I paid for this, so you have to do what I say type of energy. And with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, um, someone here maybe was even stealing money. I don't know. There's a, there's a sense of lying, cheating, deception, mind games, manipulation. We've got the Devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the Judgment card. Sagittarian energy. I feel like someone gets accused a lot here. Someone here gets accused a lot of constantly doing bad things or constantly, you know what I'm saying? Um, someone here maybe makes accusations and judgment calls from a very negative place. So we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have the King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. We have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. We have the Sun, Leo Energy. And we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. So this person gets caught doing all of these things and then they come in saying that they're sorry they they come in saying that they have regrets they come in saying that you know i love you you're the one for me you know pouring out love and emotions being romantic with the sun card in the page of pentacles um this could be someone offering a gift giving something to somebody that's going to make them happier so here under the deck we have the emperor and the ace of swords Yeah. So I feel like this person is coming in saying that they're an emperor, but the truth is with the Ace of Swords, the Knight of uh, Wands, and the Queen of Wands, is that this person is playing games. There does seem to be another person in the picture, but, you know, they're, they're presenting themselves as an emperor, but the truth is there, clear as day. And I feel like someone knows it. Someone knows it. Um, you know, someone maybe found receipts or something along those lines with the, the Five of Wands and the Ten of uh, Pentacles. So, you know, that that's somebody getting jealous over something financial, I'm feeling. Um, 
Yeah, they're going to come in and apologize. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Yeah, someone here thought that everything was peaceful and good. They were giving, you know, a lot of love, money, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Tower. So I feel like someone here was working really hard and investing, even though they didn't trust. That's the kicker. So someone here had it in their heart to not trust the situation but still try to temper that emotion and, you know, come from a place of good and continue to give to the situation. They just thought that, you know, it's maybe it's a little slow going, but eventually it will happen. Do you see what I'm saying? Eventually it will happen. And then everything comes crumbling down. Nine of cups and the four of wands, the two of swords and the high priestess. I feel like someone's wish fulfillment was to get married, move in together, have a home, have a family. And I feel like that's being cut because of secrets here we've got the ten of pentacles and the eight of swords we've got the five of wands and the ten of wands someone here is just tired of constantly feeling jealous upset like there's other people in the picture someone is tired of feeling like they're being cheated on five of swords here and the star aquarian energy and the seven of swords and the king of pentacles there is someone here that presents themselves as solid stable someone who just you know says whatever you want to hear but behind all of that mind games manipulation lies deceit it's like this person will say one thing to your face when you actually have proof in your hands that something else is going on and they'll continue to look at you and be like no believe me not what you see believe me not your eyes you know what i'm saying the devil and the two of swords the judgment card and the page of pentacles um I feel like you're cutting out the toxicity. It's just, you're just done with it. And this person's coming in wanting a second chance. The Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. The Five of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So this person is coming in wanting to apologize, wanting to communicate, wanting to talk, wanting to have sex, wanting to do all of these things, wanting to say that they have regret. But with that Seven of Wands energy, I really don't think you're buying it. King of Cups and the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Lovers and the Five of Swords. See, stabbed in the back. You know, you know that there's someone else here, Scorpio. You know that this is toxic. You know that it's all my, you know, it's just mind games. The Sun and the Strength card, Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like the shoe is on the other foot here. Whereas before it was you begging for this to come together or it was you really putting the work in. Now, and look, we've got the Hierophant under the deck, Taurus energy and the Magician and the Nine of Cups. So what's happening here is there's a major change that's, that's about to take place. Death card, Scorpionic energy. I feel like where it was once you putting all the work into this connection, now it's going to be vice versa. The table is turning here. We have letting go optimism you've lost hope someone here has lost hope in this connection they just stopped caring intuition and manifestation and stuck energy i feel like someone is tired of manifesting and and working on a connection that is just constantly stuck in the same rutting cycle of lies and deceit and all that other stuff someone here has lost hope on the connection we've got appreciation anxiety an angel of love. I feel like someone here really showed a lot of pre appreciation, a lot of love, but they, in return, all they got was anxiety, pain, not knowing like if someone was cheating. But we have this angel of love stepping in here. You know, this, this, this is temperance. This is this angel wanting to come in and heal the situation. We've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and stay optimistic. Um, now this could be an energy of, you know, forget the forgive and forget and be optimistic mystic about your love life or could this could be an energy of um you know release this person and be optimistic that someone new is coming in but i don't really see the new I don't really see new here. What I see is that by you really disconnecting yourself from this person, Scorpio, they get really scared that you're really going to leave this time. Do you see what I'm saying? And that may, that this, you know, may be divinely guided for them to have to grovel a little bit to realize your worth. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.